Battle of the Stretches. Hungry <laughs> boy? Well, Taco and Squid. <laughs> Stretch vertically. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. <laughs> hey guys! Hi. Before we get into our video real quick, we have a merch announcement! For the next 10 days only, we're selling cat person and dog person shirts. Neko ha and inu ha. This is how you would write cat person in Japanese. Technically it means like cat clan. Like or... You belong to the cat clan. Yeah, or cat group. <laughs> yep. Cat group. Cat gang? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> We're only selling unisex shirts. They're not form-fitting this time. Mm. I'm wearing a small, and June is wearing a medium. Yep. On the website, there will be a counter in the banner for how many people buy cat shirts versus how many people buy dog shirts. So we get to see who's gonna win out. I think we have some sort of idea because this is a video about cats, and our channels are kind of channels about cats now, but... Yeah. Who knows? We'll see. Maybe there is some surprise dog viewers out there. I mean, you can be both. <laughs> Pookie, which one are you? Well, they're both dogs. <laughs> These shirts are manufactured in the U.S. and then assembled in Nicaragua. There's no slave labor anywhere in the process of making these. These shirts are pretty comfy, although a little bit thin. So if I hold this up to the light, you can see the shoulder has nice hemming for like extra comfort. The print is this sort of thingy so that the colors can be really vibrant. I don't know what this is called, but you guys know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> so these are available for the next 10 days only. So if you've ever wanted an Inuha or Nekoha shirt, now's your chance. And let's get back to our cat update. Pokey update. Hi, Pokey. Pokey, Pokey, Pokey. How are you doing? So Pokey has been having a couple different problems recently. First, he had these like cyst growths on the back of one of his knees. He bled a couple of times. That like popped and started bleeding and we took him to the vet and they said it was the same thing that Haku had just manifested in a different way. Cold sun too. Like, like an allergy reaction. Yeah. And Pokey's was bad enough because he was bleeding that we had to put him, actually he didn't give him steroids. He gave him like an immunosuppressant for about a week something to s suppress his immune system. He also had, even his nose was bleeding a little bit. These, and, <laughs> Super okay. up close. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. His nose is normally completely black, but the pink spots right now are the parts that his nose was like a little uh, scabby before, mm. but He's completely healed from that now. Although, shortly after that, I noticed a bump on his tummy and we took him back to the vet again. And it turned out he had a mast cell tumor, which is a tumor that could or could not be cancerous. It's the most common type of tumor in cats. His was not cancerous. And normally mast cell tumors happen like above the neck, like on the face and head and whatnot. Yeah, right but right Pokey got really lucky that his was on his stomach because the way that mast cell tumors work is, um, the vet explained like they have like kind of tentacles that radiate out cells. And so in order to get rid of every single cell of the tumor, even if the bump is only like this big, they cut out like a much larger portion of skin around it to make sure they get all of the cells. They needed extra margins if possible. Yes, extra margins, right. That's a <laughs> more, <laughs> that's a better English term for it. Why is your English better than mine, June? Stop it. <laughs> You're making me look bad now. <laughs> yeah, they needed extra margins. He had to have a collar for two weeks. And day one, day two, remember how sad and quiet Pokey was? Well, Pokey was sore. We learned that the reason Pokey screams so loud <coughs> compared to all of our other cats is that he uses his abdominal muscles. Uh, people told us just like opera singers. So Pokey has like, 
<laughs> trained, trained himself to scream really, really loudly. And so for like a week or so after his surgery, he had a tiny normal cat meow. He was like, very, very weak. he was so quiet and cute and kind of just like a normal cat. And we were like, wow, look at this. This is what Pokey would be like if he meowed like a normal cat. And we were like, I wonder if he'll be like this forever now. But no, now he's screaming again. Yeah. I am very happy he's back to normal though because his appetite was very, very low for like three weeks after his surgery. Even after he got his stitches out, he wouldn't even come down for mealtime. Like if we got the bag of food out, he would just stay wherever he was sleeping, which was very, very concerning for Pokey. I was very worried about him. Anyway, he's still recovering, so he may go back to being his like food hunting little demon kitty soon but that's okay. I hope not. I love Pokey so much. <laughs> Pokey, out. He's become a super lap cat, and every day he comes over to sit on my lap now, and of course we cuddle all night. He is such a mama's boy. Free time? Oh. Oh. Good boy. <laughs> so we did um full full checkup. Cat dog. Yes, we did cat checkups for all of our cats. You want to explain that Indian dog thing? Yeah, but okay. <laughs> Okay, so there's there's a system in Japan where once a year you go get a health checkup that's pretty comprehensive. They call it Ningen Doku or Human Dock. I think it's called Dock because when you like dock a ship to do maintenance. Giant house. Right. So like Human Dock and then also Cat Dock. So our cats got their cat doc. Yeah, they all went through the cat doc. <laughs> and all of our cats had a little thing to look out for. Nagi had a tiny kidney stone. I mean, could be kidney stone or could be something else, mm -hmm. but it's not like a super serious concerning level mm -hmm. yet. So yeah, the best is just keep an eye for now. We've increased the amount of water we give him with his meals to make sure he's drinking more. Pokey, obviously, we told you all of his problems. And then Peachy has thick intestinal lining. Yeah. Her intestinal lining is thick, which is usually something they see with like IBS for cats or something, but she doesn't have any problems with that right now. So the vet just said it's something to keep an eye out for. She might develop IBS in the future or something. And in order to do more like a careful flea examination, mm -hmm. he actually has to uh, cut up, cut open her mm -hmm. tummy and stuff to just to do that, which yeah. is not worthy at all. Right. So he recommends not. But like she doesn't have any symptoms of anything right now. Yeah. One thing though that was interesting about Peachy. Yes. Where's Peachy? She's oh. in the box in the, <laughs> in the bottom corner. Oh, <laughs> One thing that vet was surprised when the vet did the like eye test. Uh huh. The result is to the fact that Peachy can be fully blind, but the way she behaves, I uh -huh. really didn't think so, or anyone who saw Peachy didn't think so. Wait, you didn't tell me anything about this. Can you explain? I don't know like what kind of eye test he exactly did, mm -hmm. but when like a vet did eye like a reaction mm -hmm. thing, then he didn't really re react in the normal way. Hmm. He was really surprised. Wow. But. I know how she reacts. Right. She chases after the toy, she eats food, she knows, and then... Well, I mean... So we thought because of her uh, disadvantage she has, maybe mm -hmm. other senses are more sensitive. Yeah. That she can feel and sense more. So she could be blind and we just haven't noticed. We... Maybe... I still don't think she is blind blind, but... Mm -hmm. Either way, her eyesight, yeah. even the one that's open, yeah. maybe she still has a hard time seeing anyway. Huh. Mm. 
PC. But she doesn't act like it because she's so good at sensing stuff. Right. So she's, she's quite impressive. She's got really good hearing, and then of course cats and smell. Mm -hmm. So, huh? Maybe she's like Daredevil. Oh, here she comes. PG, are you blind? Are you legally blind? <laughs> I don't think she's completely blind, but I, maybe she can't see well with her right eye. Even. I feel like she can see, mm. right? She's lo she's looking at me. Yeah, that's what I told the vet too. Thanks, baby. I'm really glad that our cats left the sketch board we built. I know. PG does this every day. Every night. Hungry boy. Hungry girl. Ooh. I'm doing dishes. I'll be done soon. Just wait. Just wait. I noticed Nagi was a little upset. And I was wondering why, and then here's why. <laughs> Haku stole it. Haku, would you take the box? He did. I wonder how long I can do this until he gets annoyed. <laughs> He's not doing. Oh, hi. Do you see his eyes? He's just like, what's going on? <laughs> I just want to sleep. Okay, all right, but I think Haku's fur is getting back and getting better. It's getting way better. Mm. Uh, which we are back to normal food. The mm -hmm. ones that we used to feed and see if he's okay. Mm -hmm. We're hoping that the cause was the, what's that word in English? Flea? A flea. A flea. With all of the health issues our cats have had this year, we've gone to the vet like 10 times <laughs> this year. And I've asked about parasites every single time to see if that could be a cause of an allergy. And they've looked every time and never found anything. And it was only the most recent visit where they found a single flea. On Pocky. Which was really confusing because we've been treating our cats for fleas like just constantly. So the vet gave us prevent, um, like a special flea mm. cycle disruptor just in case. That which lasts a longer. Yeah, three months. The fur is coming back, kinda. Oh. Wah. Ah. Wah. Coming back. Yeah, this side, you can't even tell he's lost fur anymore. The other side is still a little... Can you can you roll him over? It's, well, I don't want to upset him anymore. <laughs> he's so he'll, he'll, he'll be mad. He'll start biting. Yeah. He'll get angry. His poor tail. His poor tail is still like a little plucked chicken. Oh, he's getting annoyed. Yeah, yeah, already. I mean, I would be if I was right. sleeping on the bed if someone did this and then <laughs> naked me and just roll around. Yeah, I'll be upset. I'm sorry, buddy. Ta da! Okay, update part, I don't know. <laughs> we updated our cat litter and then bought a much larger box. This was like the largest bin that we could find. Yeah. We had two that were about Oops. about the same size, but like, you know, cut in half. But a larger size is much easier for the cats to maneuver around in. Way better than before, um, especially because Haku is prone to urine crystals and mm -hmm. stuff. Close, close, close. So we want to make sure his litter is easy for him to use. And so far, this has been the easiest one. It's been the biggest one for him. Yeah. And then, of course, once we move, we'll have plenty of spaces in the house for multiple large litter boxes. <laughs> They've got a step to get in. It's my aquarium, yeah, by the way. Upside down. Upside down. One of the old ones. Thunder is okay. With the pad. This is not, this is not the lit Here, hang on. Not this aquarium. Thunder's okay. He's sleeping right now. Oh, now he's awake. <laughs> Sorry for bothering. And our, our shrimp are in there somewhere. Yeah. Our three shrimp collectively named Lightning. Hi, 
Puggy. Your girlfriend's coming. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> so many cats. My name is so sleepy. Get up. Wait. Look up. One more. One more. One more. Come on, you can do it. Oh, good boy. Oh, pokey, oh. pokey. <laughs> hey, hang on. There's no water yet. <laughs>